Hey everyone, my name is Zimaya. Welcome to Ms. Fitzy. Lightsabers, the most sought after science fiction technology in the world. They're pretty much the best thing about Star Wars. These swords, that instead of having a steel blade, they have a laser blade that can cut through almost anything. And the, the lightsaber that I find most interesting is the dark saber, as seen in The Mandalorian, in Star Wars Rebels, and in and all of these shows, and it's pretty much the very, very most um, interesting lightsaber out there. And in this video, I have recreated the dark saber. So, how am I going to create the dark saber? Well, I'm no hacksmith who have legitimately recreated a lightsaber, a retractable one, and that is by far the best and the closest thing we ever have to a real working lightsaber. But I don't have that kind of expertise, I don't have that money. So what I used is my handy dandy 3D printer and 3D printing and 3D modeling software in order to model the hilt, the blade, and also the mechanism in order to make it light up. First, I needed to print out the inner compartment that would house the batteries and the inner components, such as the switch, the wiring, and also a place for the wooden dowel support for the 3D printed blade. When I was happy with this, it was off to the races, 3D printing the rest of the parts, the outer sleeve, the lock mechanism, and also most importantly, the blade for the dark saber. After everything was 3D printed, I needed to sand it all down. I was wearing a mask, as you can see here. It was just to protect my lungs from the resin that I applied on the blade and also on the other parts. For the outer sleeve, a lot needed to be done. It needed a glossy black finish with some silver metallic highlights. So first, I painted the outer sleeve black and then I masked everything that doesn't need to be silver and then painted it silver. It sort of gives a blackish metallic silver that I really, really like. So it's time to install the LEDs. I modeled these grooves on the insides of the blade that would house the LEDs and it worked perfectly. It held the LEDs in place. When I was installing the LEDs, I installed them facing the inside rather than the outside. This would reduce the spottiness that occurs when, it does, when LEDs do not diffuse properly or are not being diffused properly. So, installing them facing inward helped diffuse it a lot. <laughs> okay, so here is the back, the black plate that's going to be on top of this. So I like glued some reflective foil, the aluminum foil that I also included here on inside. So let's actually try it out. Like, here, this is the actual thing. Um, uh, um, it was... Then it was time to solder. I needed to install the electronics 
on the actual blade, I needed to install the switch, the batteries, positive and negative, and I needed to solder the wiring. I am not the very best at soldering, and this is the second time I ever soldered anything whatsoever. So cut me some slack, and I think I did a really good job at this sword. Okie dokie, so this is by far my favorite project for now that I've ever done and <laughs> it really it took me quite a while to make this. It took me ever since I uploaded the Baby Yoda video, it took me a long time to model, prototype and you know just make this as good as I can. I'm not I'm not that good in like soldering and stuff like that and doing electronics and so this really um, pushed my limits pushed my expertise and that is sort of the reason why I like making it it pushes my my knowledge and, and stuff like that anyway if you guys enjoyed this video hit that like button down below subscribe for more videos every single week mostly almost every single week and I'll see you guys in the next video bye bye